Claro. Y son los intereses del niño en este preciso momento. Not our general understanding of oh, no, I know this child eh, likes lo que nosotros sabemos acerca del gusto del niño, jugar con las pelotas, por ejemplo. But maybe not now, this minute. Maybe Pero that's not what he's no interested in. Ahora, en este minuto. Quizás eso no sea lo que le, le interesa. So the easiest way is just Entonces, to watch. Entonces, la manera más fácil es quizás observar. What is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? And that's the interest. That's the thing you're going to follow and see if you can get involved in it in some para way. Para ver si lo podemos involucrar. And by get involved, y al I don't mean interrupt him and try no, and get in his way. Y no lo interrumpimos y tratamos de ponernos en el camino de lo que está haciendo. I mean, be a supportive partner. Sino ser un, so un maybe you make socio comments about what que lo apoye, que quizás podríamos hacer comentarios acerca de lo que está haciendo el niño. O agregar acciones que quizás fueran divertidas. O agregamos unas expresiones Sound faciales, really efectos de sonido que funcionan fantástico con los niños más you pequeños. Experimentamos, agregamos cosas que quizás les resulten divertidas. Pero no se pongan en el camino de lo que están realizando. And in this state, etapa, you totally avoid uno evita asking questions, making demands and requests. Eh, y hacer pedidos o exigencias. So what I will typically see Entonces, lo que vamos a ver, um, in the, the instance with the, the little boy with the pop-up toy, con el niñito que estaba jugando con el juguete que saltaba del, del When I first del watched chichu. parents playing, cuando yo veo a los padres jugar, Usually parents are pretty good at they follow the interest they see. Oh, he's involved in the pop-up toy. So they get involved. But they do it by asking questions. So they'll often say, oh, who's that popping out of the door? What color is that? Yes, you're laughing because you do it. I know you do. <laughs> it's, it's a natural response. Because if you do that with a typically developing child, it works. They respond. You have a little conversation about Elmo. So it makes sense that we sort of naturally are inclined to do that. But you have to remember that this is a child who is challenged by processing language at a regular speed. And if you have a child who has lower verbal skills and isn't able to, to say too many words, y que no puede decir muchas palabras. Then you asking Entonces, a question that requires si a verbal response. Una pregunta que requiere una respuesta verbal. Is a big hurdle. Es una to them getting gran engaged barrera with you. para que ellos se enganchen con ustedes. It's like they give up at the first step. Es como que tiran la toalla Because desde el principio. Because it's just it's too challenging. Porque es demasiado difícil. And why bother? Why would I bother trying to come up and remember the name of this character and be able to say it? Porque cómo corno se llama este personaje. Why when I could just press the button and watch si it pop up? That's much more fun. Porque si yo puedo el botón y que salte el personaje, esto es mucho más divertido. Right, so if you want to turn Entonces, this interaction into engagement, si quieren convertir esta interacción en un enganche, you want to make yourself as easy to be with as possible. Que hacer que ustedes sean muy fáciles de estar con so ustedes. asking your child questions about si, colors and shapes and si names preguntamos and sobre colores, formas, is more like sitting an exam es como pretender que los chicos den than examen, having a fun interaction. En vez de tener una interacción divertida. Now, I believe all these children can Yo learn colors and shapes and numbers and forma, numbers, all of these things. Y todas estas cosas. But you're going to have a lot Pero more success in teaching that mucho más éxito eso, if you do that when your child si is already engaged in a reciprocal interaction with you. Involucrado en una interacción recíproca con ustedes. If you're doing it when they're in this si supported engagement where you're working really hard just to keep esta, their attention, Dependiente, de que enganche, and you start adding in things apoyo, that are challenging, you're going to lose them. They're going to go back to being disengaged. Se van a so pausing again, we have that Entonces, in here. Doing something pausa, fun, adding something to the game. She saw Sebastian doing, he was Elena adding sound Sebastian effects and facial expressions. Faciales, de sonido, and then just wait. 
y esperen and allow your child to initiate. Y permiten que el niño tome la iniciativa. Okay, so this is another bueno, clip of the same session from earlier. Una imagen de la sesión con Jaden. We're probably 10, 15 minutes now Esto into the session. Esto fue más o menos 15 minutos de, de iniciada la sesión. <laughs> A ver. So let's y watch this. Esto. And I want you to think about y quiero que piense two things. Dos cos en dos cosas. What state is Jaden in now? ¿En qué estado está Jaden? And then what, what do you notice that I'm doing? ¿Y qué ven que hago yo? Okay. Está bien.
Muy bien, ¿qué es lo que vieron por parte de Jaden? ¿En qué estado les parece a ustedes que estaba? ¿Micrófono? ¿Alguien tiene micrófono? Hello. At first, I found very interesting that he started to disengage and then you achieved a very good, a powerful connection. I think it was very interesting when you detected that he contacted visually with the ball, but then when you realized that he didn't connect, that he had disengaged, then you went down to his level in order to engage him. And also the... Uh, the uh, um, amount of time it lasted, which was very interesting as well. Thank you. I thought it was very valuable. For the mother, it must have been, I'm sure, she must have tried to play with the child in a different manner as from then because in different parts of the, connect, of, of the process, you had engagement and disengagement, and you were able to establish a contact easily with him. And I think that is very important. Yes. Sí. So he started disengaged. Empezó desenganchado. 